Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can access the options in Word to change operational aspects of the application. Note that changing the default options in Word can change the default behavior of the program and therefore should only be performed by advanced users who thoroughly understand the options. In this lesson, we will review some of the most commonly used options in Word. Some of these options have already been discussed at various points in the tutorial in the context of their use within the application. To access the default options in Word, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Options command in the list at the left side of the Backstage view to open the Word Options dialog box. In this dialog box, click the name of an option category in the list of categories at the left side of this dialog box to view the options for the selected category in the right pane of the dialog box. Note that many of the options are self-explanatory. However, options that may need some explanation appear in the Options section with a small I at the right end. If you hold your mouse pointer over the I icon, a screen tip appears to give you a bit more information about the name and use of the option. Clicking the General category shows you options for customizing the user interface, setting the default user information stored in Documents, changing privacy settings and LinkedIn features, setting startup options, co-authoring options, and real-time collaboration options. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes in each section to enable or disable the features. Also, you can customize your copy of Word by entering your username and initials into the fields provided. Clicking the Display category shows options that let you change how Word shows a document's contents. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes here to enable or disable the display of on-screen page options, on-screen special characters, or printed page options. Clicking the Proofing category shows you Word's default proofing options. As you saw in the lesson titled Setting Default Proofing Options, these options control the behavior of tools like Autocorrect and the Spelling and Grammar tool. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes here to change the settings these tools use when proofing document content. Clicking the Save category shows you options for changing how Word saves documents by default. In the Save Documents section, you can use the Save Files in this Format drop-down to set the default document format to use when saving Word documents. You can also set the default behavior of the Auto Recover feature by choosing how often this information is saved and where the information is saved. Also, when saving your documents, you can set a new default local folder to which to save documents by clicking the Browse button at the right end of the Default Local File Location field. Doing this opens the Modify Location dialog box where you can browse to the new default folder into which to save your local documents. Then click the OK button to set the folder and return to the Word Options dialog box. Note that you can also set the default personal templates location here, as discussed in the previous lesson titled Creating Personal Templates. For older versions of Word, you can also set the offline editing options for document management server files in this section. This option is no longer supported for Office 365 though. However, this is where users of older versions of Word could choose the save location for checked out files. To set options for preserving the fidelity of a document when sharing it, check or uncheck the checkboxes. Clicking the Language category lets you set the display language for editing, display, and help in Word. Clicking the Ease of Access category shows you accessibility options you can enable or disable by checking or unchecking the checkboxes. Clicking the Advanced category shows you many advanced options for all categories. Each set of advanced options is grouped together by subcategory at the right side of this panel. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes to enable or disable the features in each section. Clicking the Customize Ribbon category lets you customize the ribbon by adding, renaming, or removing tabs, groups, and buttons in the ribbon as shown in the lesson titled Assigning Macros in the last chapter. Likewise, clicking the Quick Access Toolbar category lets you customize the Quick Access Toolbar by adding, renaming, or removing buttons as shown in the same lesson.
Clicking the Add-ins category shows external programs that are allowed to interact with Word. Clicking the Trust Center category lets you manage Word's security settings. We recommend you do not change these settings. To apply the new default options for Word after setting them, click the OK button in the Word Options dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.